Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Sofia Ralosa and thank you for playing this video. Our topic today is all about the RAC for 2023. This gives you more information, preparation, how to thrive within 2023. Okay, uh, by the way, you not only have one animal, you have four. The year represents your friends, your 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 colleagues, your clients, the month represents your career, your business, your boss, your finances. The day master represents you, your personal relationship, and then the hour represents your children, your investment. And uh, in order to plot your chart, please uh, plot this QR code that's going to bring you to the uh, calculator. Just put in your birthday and birth hour. Best if you have your uh, birth hour. This gives us 100% basically of the information about your patching chart <clears throat> okay uh, so again let's talk about what the topic again it's the rat for 2023 and here are the auxiliary stars that we have for the rat it's fortune virtue vir heavenly virtue prosperity char uh, star <laughs> red matchmaker peach blossom thriving sorry red matchmaker and peach blossom are the same thriving your punishment uh curl tongue crossing shot drapes and goat blade now what do they all mean by the way at the time of the year where i give free ebook please subscribe to my website here is the qr code uh whenever you subscribe you get free ebook that's all about 2023 it includes day master it also includes uh, uh animal forecast summary of animal forecast and at the same time all the flying stars that we have for 2023 all right okay so now let's go back to the auxiliary stars fortune virtue prosperity star and thriving actually have the same definition which gives us that the rat will have so much opportunity in their way within 2023 of course what do we do we do the right activities in alignment to these opportunities make sure that uh you work hard to maximize uh the stars or the blessing that's given to you so that they can actually uh, develop more and quadruple more or actually you'll receive more blessing because you're performing your best when you receive these opportunities. Uh, when it comes to thriving, on the other hand, this refers to opportunities coming from your network. So if your rat is in the year, uh, this is a good year to actually socialize, okay? Because there are a lot of opportunities coming your way through your network, okay? Next, we have the heavenly virtue. This is a star that helps minimize big problems into smaller problems. Okay, so don't be afraid. Don't hesitate to reach out. Again, if your rat is in the year, it's best to reach out to your social network. Socialize. You know, if you're, you're overwhelmed, reach out because there are a lot of people that are willing to help you out. A lot of people are rooting for you. Okay, for next is the peach blossom. I'm sorry, red matchmaker is actually uh, the term for the peach blossom. Now, peach blossom, back in the day, this is referred to as relationship star. But now, we can actually use it in our business, in our career. This is actually a good way or a good year to influence others because your likability is very strong. So, uh, this is a good year to make an effort to improve your skills on how to uh, be charismatic. Okay, so, so it, it's easier for you to influence others into pursuing the things that you want to, you know, that you want to do or you're trying to achieve. Okay, those are the good stars. Now, let's talk about the negative stars or not so good stars that needs preparation, that needs understanding so you know how to handle them. The first one is the year punishment now year punishment is all about the sense of feeling betrayal okay or sometimes um you're mistreated okay uh, or at the same time ungratefulness okay now how do we address this and protect ourselves from this from happening is to make sure not to share all your ideas to people okay it's always good to keep uh some of your thoughts to yourself no, I will not share your plans, the details of your plan, so it won't be taken against you. Okay, there's no room for betrayal if you keep quiet. Okay, so make sure uh, that you're picky of the people that you trust and that at the same time the things that you say. Alright, next is the curl tongue. This denotes argument. Okay, of course from the year punishment, if there are mistreatment or betrayal, this might push you to resort to retaliation which can bring out 
arguments. My advice to keep quiet. Okay? You don't have to retaliate and sometimes, and actually not sometimes, most of the time, staying quiet is the best response because staying quiet is an action that no one can take against you. Okay? So, stay quiet. Disregard and let go of the petty people. Next is crossing shot. Uh, make sure that this is all about legal problems. Now, how do you address that? Make sure that every document that you sign, you study very carefully, talk to your lawyer, seek advice if it's actually a good uh, to sign. Or at the same time, if there are opportunities, make sure that you practice, you practice due diligence, research the background, and so on and so forth. So you won't get entangled in any... Uh, Legal entanglement <laughs> or problems. Okay, next is drape stars. Now, drape stars are more on emotional issues. This can happen, of course, especially if, if say, for a year punishment happen where there's uh, uh, betrayal, yes, betrayal or maltreatment, you might feel as though um, this might affect your emotional state. Or, yes, because, of course, it's still, a, it, it's, even if it's friendship, it still feels like a breakup, right? Especially when there's uh, betrayal so this might happen because of the year punishment so my advice of course to keep quiet and when we keep quiet and we do not let out our emotion what happens is we let it in and not let it out or you know what i'm saying so but my advice is to practice meditation for one second is to talk to people that you actually trust that uh, you really trust like your family you know Talk to them what you're actually feeling. You're, you're a bit, little bit sad or disappointed. And then the next step is do something that would um, unleash your creativity. Okay? It can be painting. It can be blogging. This will help you process whatever feelings that you have and the thoughts. And at the same time, you're putting it in something that's safe. No one can have access to. Uh, or um, or say creating a video or so and so on and so forth. So that's my advice. Instead of retaliating and putting the emotional burden and letting it out to others, is actually an act wherein you're going to regret at the end of the day. So to avoid that from happening, seek to do creative activities. You know, new hobbies, um, pot making, blogging video making and so on and so forth so this will actually help you know be a means for an output that would help you at least distance yourself from the emotion that you're feeling from the sudden changes in relationships okay next is a uh, goat blade uh this is um this is an action of being impatient of course when you're going through so many activities of wealth and a lot of, of happiness and um, material wealth coming in sometimes when we uh, you know go to the position or we when we reach the, the top position we will end up feeling like we're invisible wherein we think that anything that we do is now going to be successful and that's the, where the goat blade is it's sort of the lesson learned no? from uh, being on top so be, be, avoid, okay, avoid making rash decisions because this may lead to robbery, injuries, or accident, okay? Make sure that you listen to yourself and look at every urge. Is this a right thing to do? Am I practicing risk management, okay, in this uh, decision? So there. All right, so thank you so much for watching. And I hope you learned something today and may you have a wealthy, thriving, healthy 2023. Thank you for watching. Bye!